Happy Thursday, everybody. My name is P. Tony, your friendly Catholic vlogger. Let's take a study break. Uh, did you know that there are openings for patron saints out there? For example, if you work really hard, and I believe that you can do it, you could be the patron saint of moral support. You could also be the patron saint of sarcasm, unless St. Lawrence is the patron of that. Double check on that one. I also think that we really could use a patron saint of, like, Twitter and YouTube and social media in general. That would be nice. There is no patron saint in general of community life, which surprises me. Um, but I've looked for one, and there isn't one. You could be the patron saint of beards, or if there already is a patron saint for that, you- I bet there's an opening to be patron saint of neck beards. You could be the patron saint of Marvel fandom, although you might need to, uh, go through some copyright hoops for that one. You can be the patron saint of capitalism, or whatever economic system is ethical nowadays. You could be the patron saint of internet trolls, or the patron saint of protection against internet trolls. Patron saint of those victimized by fake news. Patron saint of <laughs> first world problems. You could be the patron saint of the American dream. You could be the patron saint of being triggered, because in my case, whenever I'm triggered, I'm sure it's for righteous reasons, righteous anger. You could be the patron saint of road construction, because I need someone to pray to. You could be the patron saint of making the sign of the cross in public, like in a restaurant. <laughs> It's so hard! You could be the patron saint of skipping rocks at a retreat house. You could be the patron saint of student loans. You could be the patron saint of millennials. <laughs> we need one. You can always be the patron saint of hipsters, because even if they already have a patron saint, by definition, they need a new one. Please, 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 we need a patron saint of enduring BuzzFeed articles. You could be the patron saint of social media fasts. You could also be the patron saint of dating fasts, because everybody is on a dating fast. <laughs> Either that or married. You could be the patron saint of all-nighters in college because that's a healthy habit that should be encouraged in our society. You could be the patron saint of customer service jobs. Oh, that, yeah, that would be good. We could use a patron saint for living with roommates. I wonder, is there a patron saint for designated drivers? <laughs> what kind of saint would be the patron of that? You could be the patron saint of living in a soundbite culture. You could be the patron saint of our right to not be offended because that's totally a thing. Very important, um, patron saint of resisting the continue watching button on Netflix. You could be the patron saint of having crazy liberal friends and or relatives. You could be the patron saint of having ultra conservative friends and or relatives. It's hard <laughs> either way. You could be the patron saint of board game nights. Everybody has board game nights nowadays. Uh, wh how, what did a social life look like before there were board games? Especially the German ones. You could be the niche patron saint of German board games. You could be the patron saint of talking around the elephant in the room. Cause everybody does that. You could be the patron saint of privilege. Trigger warning, by the way. You could be the patron saint of fidget spinners. I think I missed that fad. You could be my patron saint of trying to be cool with the fads that are already dead, but also complaining about the fads that exist now. You could be the patron saint of dad jokes. Somebody pray for people who make dad jokes, please. You could be the patron saint of rebooting your computer. Or you could be the patron saint of phone notifications going off at awkward times. You could be the patron saint of, of uh, genuflecting in the aisle at the movie theater. Not that I've ever done that, uh -huh, right? Nobody, nobody does that. You could be the patron saint of not breaking egg yolks. And that's all I got. Um, you cannot be the patron saint of my YouTube channel. I already have one. Uh, his name is Saint Joseph, and he's pretty awesome. But what do you think we need patron saints for? Comment down in the comment place below, because that's why it's there. Because cause this is your turn to make me laugh, and I'll laugh, and it'll be a great time. Anyways, um, I have no more words. So this is where I say goodbye. I uh, will see you next week. God bless and ciao. You know, one day while I'm talking here in the after credits thing, this could like be an end card and I could have things floating around my face of like different videos you could watch. Um, one day, see, I, there's just so many ways I can become more professional and I just haven't yet. But the most important thing is that I'm dedicated, right? See me here and I see you there. I don't see you there. I see a camera right now. This is a weird relationship. We live in a weird time. Let's just be very real about that. Uh, yeah. All right, I got nothing else to say. Mm, but thanks for watching. All right, I'll see you later. Bye-bye. Thanks for watching.